My name is Sanjay Maniktala. Uh, as was mentioned, uh, I am not exactly from here. Uh, I was born in a place very far away, halfway around the world, uh, Trivandrum. <laughs> Do we have anybody from there tonight? Yes, wonderful, sir. You've come? Yep. What part of Dubai were you in? Never mind, he didn't get the joke. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. So I'm actually, uh, as mentioned, not your average uh, Indian. I've actually grown up uh, in California. Uh, I moved here a few years ago. Uh, when I actually came down, something very strange happened on my flight. Uh, this was three years back. I had taken my phone out on the airplane, and the lady next to me said, Oh my God, why is your phone out? The plane could crash. I said, Madam, this phone is not going to cause a plane crash. This bomb will cause a plane crash. Watch out, all right? And I don't know why I was teasing this lady, but uh, re I realized why she thought my phone could cause a crash. It was a Windows phone. <laughs> smart, smart woman, all right? But now I've actually uh, been in India, and a little bit of background, like a lot of you, um, some of you are still getting the joke, it's okay, wonderful. Enjoy your Blackberry surf, that's what you have, no problem. Um, but I actually, like a lot of you, are probably headed into a career in technology, uh, you know, whether it's hardware, software, whatever. Um, and you know, IT is a very interesting profession uh, because a lot of the people you'll meet, uh, all of us end up there and the world needs it and we do good at it and that's great, right? But a lot of times when you ask like somebody much younger, that's not their first answer, right? You'll never say, you know, hey Arjun, your baby cousin, right? Hey Arjun, what do you want to be when you get older? He-Man, Superman, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Uncle, when I grow up, I want to be senior database analyst at Infosys. <laughs> it never happens, right? But that's sort of the culture that we go through, right? And it's, it's interesting being in India, you know, because especially with so many things happening, so much excitement, it's an emerging market. 20 years ago, 20 years ago, some of us who are older might know, you could ask, you know, one of the girls in your batches, you know? Oh, tell me about that guy you're dating. She's like, oh, he's so cool. He's in a band. <laughs> They're like, really going to make it. They're awesome. They have a MySpace page, <laughs> whatever, right? But these days, right, in India, you ask a girl, hey, tell me about that guy you're dating. What does he do? Oh, my God. He's so cool. He's in a startup. <laughs> They're really going to make it. They have three employees in Bangladesh. <laughs> They're really going to go far. You have no idea, you know? But that's sort of the times that are changing, right? And it's good to be aware of this. Um, another interesting thing, have any of you been to the US or the UK? Any students have been? No, you in the back? Yes, where did you go? You went to the UK? See, the problem us Indian people have when we travel overseas Everybody now assumes that we are all engineers, IT engineers. My boss in America would say, hey Sanjay, Sanjay listen, I know you work in accounting, but the internet is not working. <laughs> Something here says IP, IP is Indian problem, right? Can you fix it? You know, and he never did that with anybody else, all right? never went up to the Mexican guy in my office in California. Hi, Jose. Jose, listen. I know you are an engineer, but uh, this grass is getting very long. <laughs> Can you cut it for me? No, man, it doesn't happen, but that's sort of what happens with us. And um, I have to ask, uh, do we have any people who have heard of this company? I don't know if you heard them. They're kind of famous, kind of not. He talked about them. Google? Yes, you search Google, sir, right? What websites do you search, sir? Uh, there's many. I don't want to know. All right, that's all right. No problem. I actually, uh, fun story. I'm sure a lot of you are going to do interviews probably, you know, in the coming years. Um, I actually had a job interview at Google uh, when I was starting my IT career. And a lot of you have heard about the Google interview process, right? Just like the Infi interview process or any other places. They actually have a book on flipkart.com, which says, are you smart enough to work at Google? And I bought this book, I opened it one word, no. <laughs> You're not, I'm sorry. 
no refunds, <laughs> right? Like that's it. Because Google is like the, it's the really pretty girl at the party all the guys want to talk to. But like the pretty girl, she asks you very silly questions to see if you're intelligent. You know, like you're in the interview and it's like, Sanjay, yeah, Google. <laughs> if I was a Toyota Innova, how many golf balls go in the boot? <laughs> like that doesn't make sense. I don't know, 500? Oh, explain yourself. <laughs> like that's how crazy it is. And I interviewed in San Francisco at the Google office and this Indian guy interviewed me. Shrikant. I was like, I got this. I'm in, right? And he goes, Sanjay, first question. How would you reorder nine terabytes of Google data using only three kilobytes of memory in under four seconds? So Shrikant, where in India are you from? What's your native, right? Because I don't really, I was an engineer, but, but my engineering skills stopped at Hello World, all right? Some of you get that reference, computer science guys, all right? For those of you who don't know, who are clearly failing, all right? The plus two that she talked about, right? Um, Hello World, your first day in computer science class, you write a program. All it does is it writes on the screen, Hello World. This guy Shrikant was like, Sanjay, come on, you graduated computer science, show me something. I was like, hello Shrikant. <laughs> what do you think, right? He's like, Sanjay, you gotta give me an answer. I was like, can I Google it? He's like, no. He's like, are you feeling nervous? I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> like, it doesn't happen, man. And what I've realized living, living in India, I stay in Bangalore, is uh, Google and a lot of the techie companies, they love to take Indians, right? They love to use Indians. But we as Indians do not love to use Google. We don't. Because how many times have you guys been searching for something? You need some help for some Java code or some design, and some guy has it on his blog. Just what you need, thank you. Control C, Control V, wonderful, right? Right, and then the first comment, some guy from the UK, thank you sir, helped me a lot, you're the best. Second comment, some guy from America, this was great, saved my life, thank you. Third comment, Indian guy. Please, somebody help me, I am new to Java, email me dajiotalkmail.com. It's like, how did you get to this page, Raju, if you didn't know that, man, come on. And uh, one thing I wanna say, I'm sure a lot of you have families. How many of you live far away from your family? By round of applause. Very few people, okay. Do we all love our mothers? Yes, you love your mother, miss? Okay, she treated you well when you were growing up? Yes, there's no joke, it's okay, don't worry. Yeah. I love Indian mothers because all of you are headed towards very nice careers, but no matter how busy you get in your lives, your Indian mother makes life so simple. So simple. My mom will call me, hi beta, how was your day? Like, oh mom, it was terrible, it was terrible. You know, the uh, database code at work broke, uh, the venture capitalist not hiring, not giving us the funding we want, my girlfriend is cheating on me, I might get fired, it's the worst day of my life. Oh, what did you eat? <laughs> what did you eat, Veta? That's the only question moms have, right? Because they don't understand what's sort of happening in our lives. Is anybody celebrating a birthday tonight? Is anybody celebrating a birthday this year? <laughs> yes, miss, when is your birthday in the red? Yeah, you don't speak English now? No? <laughs> when is your birthday? December 4th. Huh? December 4th. December 4th, okay, and your name? What is it? Okay, now I don't know if you do this on your birthday, I do it on mine. You know it's a very sad birthday, it's a very sad birthday when you spend the entire day just looking at your Facebook page. It's like, come on, come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. Don't message me right on my wall, right on my wall, please, for everybody. And you know, men and women, guys and girls react differently when I say that because the girls, they laugh. But the guys, especially the guys who are dating or who are married, they don't always understand it. Because for men, when we get a girlfriend or when we get married, we lose our Facebook wall. It is over. It is dead. 
It's like a good M. Night Shyamalan movie. You'll never see it again, all right? Because the girls always act like they don't care, but you guys are all in college. You know this, right? They always act like it's so cool. You'll start dating somebody, and she'll be like, um, Sanjay, uh, yeah, Anjali, who's uh, Priyanka? She's just a friend of mine. Why? Why? Oh, nothing, 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 nothing. I just saw that she was liking everything you do on Facebook. I thought she likes you. Like, no, she's just a friend. A couple of months later, what the heck is this girl writing on your wall? I thought she was just a friend. She wrote happy birthday. <laughs> oh, right, right. Because as we get older, who here is above 21? Hardly any of you, my God. All right, we are old guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, as we get older, guys and girls react differently. When you're young, right, the girls, they're very, like, girls, they're very happy when their birthday starts. They're very sad when the birthday ends. They're like, yay, I'm 21. I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yay, I'm 25. I'm not married. Yay, 30. No babies. Guys, do we do that on our birthdays? We don't, right? What do we do? Yay, I'm 21. Let's get drunk. <laughs> Yay, I'm 25. Let's get drunk. <laughs> Yay, I'm 100. Let's get drunk. <laughs> right? But you know why we do that. No, but I'll tell you why we do that. Ladies, I see some ladies looking a little upset. Don't be upset. It's not that we don't want a girlfriend, a wife, a baby. We do want those things, ladies. We really do. But we just know, when you say, let's get drunk, you'll get a girlfriend, a wife, and a baby in the same night. <laughs> yes, this is, this is some process, you guys. We are thinking. We are thinking. Last thing I'll say before I switch. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are going to go on to very nice lives, right? You're going to have, you know, your first this and your first that, first job, etc. Um, one thing you'll realize, maybe some of the old people can agree, uh, a big thing we probably don't talk about because we're engineers, our girlfriends and boyfriends, right? <laughs> I mean, there there exists. I was an engineer, all right? Don't worry. I didn't know what a girlfriend was till I got married. All right, relax, guys. Um, I'm dating somebody right now, and I keep comparing the love of my life to the previous love of my life, my first girlfriend. And when the relationship gets very boring, very exhausting, when the love is gone, it's no longer fun. After four, five, six days, right? <laughs> Married guy, he's laughing, he gets it, yes. I feel very happy for your wife, sir, yes. <laughs> we, you know, we try to do things to make them interesting. So me and my American girlfriend in the US, a few years back, we would dress up in costumes and outfits. We had this thing called a naughty cop fantasy. I'd dress up like a policeman. I'd go up to an American girlfriend. I'd say, Madam, I'm a police officer. You've been a naughty girl. And she'd say, oh my god, what are we going to do about that? But you know, I tried that over here with my Indian girlfriend. And I walked up to her. I said, Madam, I'm a police officer. You've been a naughty girl. She said, oh my God, here's a hundred bucks. <laughs> and I'm like a lot of you guys, okay? I was 18, I enrolled in an engineering college in California. When I was 22, I immediately went into getting my first job uh, at this company called uh, Symantec. Have you guys heard of that? Yes, basically, I, I took it all wrong. My girlfriend said she wanted a guy who could protect her. So I got her Norton antivirus, and we made a mistake, yes. But I worked there, then I started in consulting, okay? There was a great, uh, I think you were saying, uh, about do what you love, I completely agree. And I would also say, do what you don't love, as well. Um, because if you, don't, if you do what you don't love, you realize where you wanna go, okay? Um, how many of you have uh, a food, like, if I asked you what your favorite food is, there's so many good foods, especially here, right? There's fish curry, there's fish fry, there's all sorts of stuff, right? You, there'd be a lot of things you would say you liked. But if I asked you, give me something you hate, boom, you'll tell me right away, right? So my point is, it's important to find those careers that you don't enjoy. Some of you are gonna go to work at Infosys, Wipro, some of you are gonna go into you know, civil service, etc. cetera. Um, but my personal story, I started working I realized there's a lot of things I wanted to do that I wasn't accomplishing at work, comedy for one, 
I'll give you one little story. Um, wherever you go in your career, I'm sure some of you have passions. You like computers, what else do you like? Kingfisher Calendar Girl or something? What do you like? Yeah. Huh? Football, right? So I'll tell you a story. I was very passionate about comedy. As you know from the Facebook joke, I live my life on Facebook. I make fun of girls who really get addicted to the internet and are always, you know, Facebooking and all that stuff. I'm also a techie. And I'm so glad that I was because it made my career come together. I made an application a long time ago for the iPhone. We can never do this with the old iPhone. We can do it with the new one, okay? Uh, so basically, since I had all those life experiences, since everybody of you, yeah, you guys will all be engineers, but you also will be unique, I made an app for the iPhone called I Gotcha. The initial app, basically what it was, you are dating somebody, sir, right? And girls get jealous, we know they do. Maybe she's reading your messages. Maybe she's looking at your Facebook. Maybe she's, you know, checking your email, right? So what the app does, I'm sitting here with my girlfriend or your girlfriend or whoever. I turn the app on. It's just a home screen of the iPhone. Boom. So it looks like a fake wallpaper, okay? Then, 10 seconds after I turn the app on, bing, one new message from Anjali pops up. Then I'm in the bathroom. Then she sees it, oh, what is this? And she presses read message. Then the app, boom, picture. Takes a picture of her. And then it goes, I gotcha. And then I upload that to Facebook. And then everybody sees Sanjay's girlfriend went crazy stalking him, all right? So I'm saying like, whatever you guys do, I know I'm over time, but you know, recognize you can do a lot more. You don't just have, Whatever, if you're an engineer, do a startup on the side. Start your own bag business. Do whatever you can do. Don't be limited by all of that. And then you'll, ha you'll really be happy where this thing takes you. So I know I'm out of time. Thank you guys very much. Thanks a lot. Yeah.